Hello, <clears throat> YouTube lawnmower people. This is my lawnmower. It's cold. <clears throat> the uh, the uh, ignition circuit is now turned off, and the uh, brake grabbing the flywheel is on. I haven't seen this. So just not get my be interested. <clears throat> The, the uh, gas tank is less than full, so tipping it up on that angle doesn't cause it to drain out. The, um, if, you're, if your lawnmower is anywhere near sharp, this one is close to sharp, it still blows out single clips of grass. <coughs> single bits of grass rather than, rather than clumps of wet vegetation uh, it only takes a very very short time to reestablish the edge on this thing sharp it's ready to go it doesn't need another single thing if uh, when you sharpen <coughs> when you run the uh, you know, you also may find this wildly too dangerous for you if you do there's lots of other sites that will show you different ways to do it um, lots of people are coordinated enough not to cut themselves and not to spin the lawnmower around backwards. You hold the blade when you go to turn it. Anyways, the, uh, the blade, I don't know if I can demonstrate this properly. What did I get? Let me get a piece of If you're looking at the end of the blade, the angle on this blade is something like that. When I, when I first do a coarse grind, or a heavy grind on it, I would have it somewhere near there. Each time you do it, you come a little bit closer to being square. When it gets around here, it's time to maybe take the blade off and grind it back. But if you're just trying to put an edge on it, all you do is run the wheel over the side and feel under here. And you, as soon as you feel a burr it's sharp, you don't have to take off another micron. If you don't feel a burr under here, it's not sharp. It's pretty simple. If it's sharp, it'll blow grass out. Single blades of grass, even in the rain. Uh, I've got another thing I'll show you. You might have noticed that this blade is scalloped. Well, I don't need to set that up. I've taken this... Uh, <coughs> oh, yeah, the other... <coughs> excuse me. The... Um, this cutter is well worn, the, uh, which has made it a lot smaller in diameter. That's a lot handier for getting underneath the deck of the mower. It's also, if you scallop it, uh, I've been doing this for quite a few years. If you scallop it, you put a scallop every half inch or so, <coughs> just deep enough so that you break that smooth line of the blade instead of being a straight line, this blade would have little humps in it. Uh, I found that to really cut faster than a uh, straight blade. <coughs> I cut, I uh, sharpen this, I don't know, if you do it every couple of times, it doesn't matter, two or three times. If you hit the mud, we get anthills or little lumps of mud that you don't intend to hit or anything. It'll fold the blade over pretty quickly. Uh, to sharpen it, you just need to spend a few seconds. It doesn't need to be an all-day job. Uh, and the serrations, I found the serrations to work kind of like a bread knife. When you've got uh, the stringy piece, pieces of uh, vegetation, the seed uh, 
the seed heads on grass are a little harder to cut than the normal blades. Uh, the serrations just rip them off. Anyways, I can't think of anything else. Uh, no, I guess that's it. Good luck if you try it.